I think we're going with the pack first, guys. This is a pack cracking stream. I've not opened one of these since what every year is printed on the back of this pack. So first off, this is uh, obviously Captain Sisse from Invasion. They had the gold or bronze top and bottom of the pack. Um, 1993 to 2000. So 2000 sounds about right. Probably 2000, 2001. I'm going to try to be as careful as I can with this pack. I would like to keep it. Phyrexian Altar is the chase card. I probably had those back in the day, and they probably weren't worth anything back then. Uh, one in a hundred cards for a foil out of this pack. Let's see what we get. I have a feeling this pack's just gonna fall apart because it's ancient, but we'll see. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So we'll just go down the back, I guess. Man, I used to have a million of this card. Protective Sphere. They smell like magic cards are supposed to smell, guys. This is what I remember magic cards smelling like. Um, so yeah, I don't think I ever played with that card. Slimy Kavu. I probably did not understand how that worked back in the day. How it could be useful. But, uh... Could definitely be fun in draft, I guess. Tinder farm. I remember these lands. Coming to play tap, they were awful. And you could sacrifice them to add two of the other colors. So this would have been Rith's land, because Rith is red, green, and white. So you could use that to get some extra colors you needed. Serpentine Kavu definitely played this one back in the day. It's a four, four for four and a green. You can pay a red. So it'd be a four green and a red for a four four haster. Soulburn definitely played this too. Only spend black or red mana. Deals X damage target creature player. You gain life equal to the amount of damage dealt, but not more than the amount of black mana to you spent on it. Player's life total before Soulburn dealt damage or the creature stuff. Nah, that's a lot of words. We'll go back to that later. X two and a black. So it wasn't just X. It was X two and a black. Razorfoot Griffin, I played this all the time too. It had a white deck with like Voice of Alls from Plane Shift. Three and a white for a 2-2 flying first strike. How nuts is that? Made it to North Carolina. Congratulations, Chris. Phyrexian Reaper becomes blocked by a green creature. Destroy that creature. It can't be regenerated. Four and a black for a 3-3. Nuts. Tranquility, destroy all enchantments. Don't think I played with that one. Wandering Stream, you gain two life for each base land type among lands you control. I definitely would have played this card back in the day. Morning, enchanted creature gets minus two, minus zero, return morning to its owner's hands. I probably would not have understood how useful that could be back in the day. Trench Worm, three and a black for three, three, two and a red tap and destroy target non-basic land. It's actually pretty neat, but I don't think I played it back in the day. We are on the Uncommons now, by the way. Coastal Tower. I love these lands. They're coming to play tap dual lands. Played all sorts of these lands back in the day. Sterling Grove. That is a good hit for an Uncommon. Uh, all of their enchantments you control can't be the target of spells or abilities. One tap sac or one sacrifice and search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal that card, shuffle your library, and put it on top. I think we have a foil, guys. Maybe not. Death or glory, rare. Um. Oh, we have a foil, I think. Or No, it's a land. I think it's a basic land. Um, four and white, separate all creature cards in your graveyard into two face-up piles. Remove the pile of an opponent's choice from the game and return the other to play. That seems kind of good. Is it a foil? <gasps> it's a whole border foil. It's a planes. I don't even care. That is so awesome. I do not have any of my old border foils, and now I do. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Talmar. It was so cool to go through that pack. I'm sure it was not cheap. I have no clue how much it cost, but that was so fun. 